Bon dia, Fernando. Good morning. Good morning, Nick. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Back from holiday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Um, whereabouts are we this morning? Well, we are in a hamlet. We can say hamlet or a small village. It's more or less 10 houses here. It's very quiet. It is very quiet. The name of this is Barraca da Boa Vista. Okay. Right. We are between the towns of Figueiró dos Vinhos and Castanheira de Pera. Five minutes driving to that two towns. To both. Yeah. And we are more or less 10 minutes driving from Pedrogon Grande Town. Okay. In so fact, we are in the middle of the three towns. That's a, it's a good location then. Very good. The high C8, that is the main road, is also not too far. It's like uh, one kilometer from here. Um, quick access, but it's very quiet place. There's this road here, but it's a local road, not, no frequent traffic, it's very, very quiet, very peaceful. We came to see this house, three bedrooms house. Already had the renovation inside, inside is perfect, is really nice, you mm -hmm. will see. It's top notch. Outside is not so appellative because didn't was not painted yet and is missing some finishing or cosmetic works outside but uh, outside but inside is really 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 nice you will see we will see we have also 2008 and the 800 square meters of land mm -hmm. and we have a ruin of one uh, cottage or one ground floor house this ruin is registered as an uh, old habitation house with 49 square meters footprint. So that could be converted into more accommodation perfectly yes. legally. Yes, yes. Easy. Okay. The house have 100 square meters footprint, mm -hmm. 100 square meters living area upstairs, and then on the basement, the same size that actually are storage rooms. Okay. Let's go in. Yep. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to point yeah. out that these outbuildings here, yeah. these all come with the property as well. Yeah, that was just storage units, uh, places where they grow small animals as uh, chickens and so on. Anyway, if somebody wants, can keep them. If not, easily also to demolish them and remove them. Okay. The views are really, really nice. They are absolutely stunning. And the sun, the sun face, the sun position is also top. Okay. And it's heated by air conditioning. Yes. There's an air conditioning. There's a unit there. Yep. And we have also solar panels for, uh, for the water, for okay. the hot, hot water. Perfect. So mains water, mains electricity. Yeah. And a septic tank. Yes. Landline connection, uh, internet. And we have a 4G mobile connection also available. So coming in, we have a, a double door. Yep. All are double glass mm -hmm. windows, doors. And really good quality yes. double glazing. Thank you. And we are on a <coughs> lounge. Living area, dining area, kitchen area, all in a open space. I'm going to just focus on this kitchen mm -hmm. because it's um, it's really top notch. It's very modern um, and very smart. Yeah, it's a nice kitchen. It's beautiful. You don't kind of see that many kitchens like this in yeah. in Portugal. It's a recent one. Very good quality. So you've got gas hob. Beautiful. Uh, plumbing for a dishwasher, sink drainer, in composite stone, and then you've got the air conditioning unit there. You've got space for a double fridge freezer there, uh, and then also you've got space for another single fridge freezer there, and then an electric oven and extractor fan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, nice dining area. living area
there's a flies uh, screen protection. The views, the idea is to put a balcony or a deck here. Mm -hmm. It's not made yet. It's one of that outside finishing works that the house will need. Yep. Uh, to imagine here uh, a deck and please have a look Show out the views. through the views yeah. and the sun position is really nice. So it overlooks the three terraces of land going down mm -hmm. and then to this side you've got this. From here we can have an idea of the land that trees that we see that high trees all of them belongs here to the <coughs> to the to the property is 2800 square meters of land is all this bank let's say we treat small terraces uh, till down there then we show a map with the boundaries that be cool easy. so you've got a map yes i'll share it now Okay. Oh, I'm just going to shut this fly screen. Thank you. Okay. Let's start here. This room is the boundary room, the storage room. Mm -hmm. Where is the wash machine? And there is also the cylinder for the hot water of the solar panels. So the hot water system is um, it's heated by solar, yes. but then in the tank it's also yeah. got an electric backup. Electric mode, so yes. if there's no sun, there's then no you sun. still got hot water. Yes. Okay. All is brand new, all in very good conditions. And concrete floor, yeah. which is tiled throughout, and then a concrete ceiling. Correct. And a concrete roof. Yes. So nothing to worry about. No. It's a house. People can move in straight away live in then bit by bit do the outside finishing details that is missing mm -hmm. let's now see the bedrooms okay. on this side we have the ensuite so that's got this has got the same views from this window as from the balcony yes. or the um, french windows yeah and then this massive mm -hmm. huge uh shower room ensuite or shower room with there's two windows and there's also a fan for ventilation wow okay and what's this fernando up here is this just an independent heater yes okay and extraction really nice tiling uh wcb day vanity unit and then I don't know how, that's work, how that works. The light up, <laughs> I think. Sorry. Ah. Uh, but maybe it's not connected. It's not connected. Sorry. Okay. But it's possible to. Nice doors, nice door frames. Oh, that's a little heater unit. going to quickly show the view from this mm -hmm. primary bedroom so there you go same view yeah. on this side we have more two bedrooms and the common uh, toilet or shower room so this shower room is kind of for the guest rooms yes. or these two it's rooms here all the house also so again it's got that same fancy shower mm -hmm. extractor the window toilet and vanity unit um, and then the two bedrooms the two bedrooms here on this side All the windows of the house, they have 
what we call a oscilloma tint, just a mode for ventilation mm -hmm. in English. Tilt and turn. Thank you very <laughs> much. <laughs> And all the windows they have also the mosquito, mosquito net. fly screens. Okay. But you can then open it here the net. I don't know if you can save on I the I can see it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's all the accommodation. Yeah, this is the living area. It's a uh, beautiful. It's a nice finishing details. Yeah. Uh, and, and as you say, just, just ready to go. Rewired, replumbed, high finish to everything, very modern. All Heating, solar water. Yeah, ready to move. Ticks all the boxes. <laughs> yes. Now we're going to see the storage rooms okay. downstairs yep. and a bit of the outside. Please. Can, yeah. Can you get yes. that? Yes. Outside the house mainly needs a paint and uh, <coughs> on this back area that terrace or that balcony that we were speaking. So this is where you'd have a, a sort of tiled, a slab terrace down below mm -hmm. and then up above I'll just show the, um, they're the French windows in the main room. And then it's already got the start of the concrete posts that would hold up the um, balcony. They've already been done. Um, and just this bottom part here needs a coat of render yeah. here. Yeah. Okay, so storage rooms, please. By right here we hex to three rooms and we can see all the structure of the house all in concrete all uh, in good condition still got the wine tank yes so this would have been the older dagger was yep. was in times yes and then you come through here and the head height's not so high but this room has got a concrete slab in it uh, and there's all the plumbing we're upstairs, and the soil pipe. If somebody needs more accommodations, uh, this uh, area, it's possible also to convert into an uh, habitation area. Yep, more living space. Yes, this one's easy. That one needs to dig to the out. floor a bit, mm -hmm. but possible to and, here more. and the main house is all stone construction, isn't it? It's all stone. No, no? originally many years ago was a stone building here. Yeah. These uh, walls still stone walls, mm -hmm. these ones of the basement. But then on 70s, 80s more or less, they had built, they extended the building and they had built up in concrete. Then there's a concrete structure on top of this okay so this was a one-story stone building yes. and then they put another another floor yeah. on top yes. made out yes. of concrete yeah. gotcha yeah. there's another store room here Okay, are we going to um, attempt to look at the land? Yeah, let's. By here we can have a quick look. By here we can see most of the land. Actuality is a kind of uh, woodland. So it's down to here, is that right? The big trees belong, so after that then there's the boundary. Okay. That fig tree there belongs, these vineyards belongs. Actuality is like woodland. Mm -hmm. um, that in fact is also, well, can be helpful to pick some wood. Um, or if people want, it's also possible to convert these into uh, farm soils, these 
can be challenged and have uh, areas for, for Veg grow, to vegetables. grow things. Yeah, yep. to grow veg okay. and so on. Amazing. Thank you, Fernando. There's the solar panel up there. I don't know if you can ah, see. You'll see it from the drone. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Lovely. Let's see that uh, outbuilding. Oh, the, yes, okay. The, the ruin of an uh, old habitation house. That is also good if somebody needs more accommodation or even and a unit there to well for a workshop or something is also is also good or an airbnb yes also that's possible also, also yes so these are, i'll just show these um kind of very dilapidated outbuildings chicken sheds <laughs> ah rabbits also yeah that's that one farm storage units I mean they are ah oh, there's the rabbits so that one's chickens and this is the feeding pen for goats okay and then this is the um, the one with the habitation license this this parking area this concrete area was also used in times to dry the cereals. Okay, yeah. And then picking the sun. And here, these and these. This is a ruin of an uh, old habitation house. I suggest you please to come here. There's an uh, old oven there. What's the red oven? Keep yeah. For, uh, Nice barbecue area. Mm -hmm. And well, these rooms can be all, these areas can be all reused for a uh, new outbuilding. It's quite big, really, isn't it? Yep. Oh. Forty nine square meters. Forty nine square meters. Um, I don't think we mentioned the price, did we? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The price is 149,000. 149,000 euros. Yes. Brilliant. Thanks, Fernando. Take it too. Let's get You're some welcome. drone shots. Let's go. Thank you. 